Hello there in TV land. John Belkowitz here. Uh, we're going back to our previous concrete. I got a couple minutes to talk to you about it. You know, looking back on that sample, I'm not real happy with it. Uh, a little bit too much pace, so I don't think the porosity index is there, that 15 to 25 percent to give you good water flow. So I'm going to redo it. I'm going to do it on a smaller scale. Uh, we're going to use a 1 to 2 millimeter aggregate. It's a, a British standard. It's called the ASR gel pat test. Did it for my PhD. We'll put the uh, link down below to the paper. Um, and it was a, a pretty cool concept. Pretty cool concept. What you're basically doing is creating a pervious puck. So yeah, we're going to redo that today. We'll show you how to make it. And um, yeah, let's have some fun. The, uh, the sample that we're going to make is this pervious grout puck. And again, we're using a very small gradation of rock size, a, a one to two millimeter rock. We're combining a lot of rock with a little bit of paste. Now the paste is either going to be a combination of powders, whether it's cement, fly ash, whatever. Today we're just going to use cement and then tried and true water. Now this test comes from a Japanese test on the chemical shrinkage of concrete or the volume change that cement paste goes through um, as it hydrates within a very short time period. So we're going to take the cement powder in the water and create a paste first then slowly add our aggregate in uh, until we get this little bit of ag or excuse me little bit of paste that covers a lot of bit of aggregate. What we were going for when we make this pervious puck besides a really cool party trick is a, a test called the ASR gel pat test. And I have one minute to describe it to you and I've got a bunch of papers on it. We included them in the link below but the ASR gel pad test is a non-destructive way of looking at one of the biggest issues that's going on in the concrete industry today. The alkali silica reactivity or uh, alkali aggregate reactivity where certain alkalis in the cement paste attack the aggregate. There's a lot of ways to look at it and everybody has their own uh, favorite test. One of my favorite tests out of the many that are out there, so I like a lot of them, is the ASR gel pad test, the British Standard 7943, with a little bit of a twist to it by Lanza et al. And I guess we can throw the link to that paper. You're going to have to buy it, but it describes that change that we take advantage of. And what we're basically doing is putting the cement matrix around the reactive aggregate in this pervious puck and then we soak that pervious puck for 72 hours in this very reactive solution. Before so, we expose some of the aggregate by grinding it and then cleaning it, but we put it into this pH solution at a very high temperature to create that gel. And what we do from there is we do an optical microscopy of that gel pad and do an area fraction analysis, how much gel has grown. It's this white, uh, uh, rosette, uh, fuzzy looking stuff. And then from there we take that sample and put it into the scanning electron microscope where we not only look at the individual gel structure to look at the morphology, um, but we also look at the chemical uh, composition of that gel which will tell us what the technology that we're using is doing to impact the mitigation or the pessimum, the environment, for that gel to thrive and survive. So we're going to go through the mixing and weigh out procedures here in a second. If you have any questions about this, just let us know. Yo! So we're going to get this mix done. Uh, remember, we're using this from uh, ASTMC 1608. And then from there, there's another one, ASTMC uh, 186. And in lieu of mixing this stuff in a two-quart mixer or a larger mixer, we're actually going to mix it in a one-gallon bag on a, a vibratory table. Um, so uh, we'll go ahead and combine the water and the cement, get it mixed nice and well, uh, knead it up with our hand, and then throw it back on the vibratory table. We're going to do that in 30-second increments. Um, and then we'll go ahead and throw the aggregate in and repeat that and we'll show you the whole process. And I didn't have the molds that I wanted. Uh, normally it's these one inch diameter by three quarter inch tall pucks and they look absolutely awesome. So we have these and of course the two by two cube. So we're gonna take advantage of those and uh, 
get this done. So what I wanted to show you, we're almost done with making up samples. This is what we did last week for a quick fun sample. And you could see the size of the aggregate and also I've reduced the paste significantly to create that 15 to 25 percent pore structure to allow water to pass through. So um, yeah, we're going to make a few more samples but here we have a 3 8 inch aggregate which what's 3 8 of 25.4 millimeters. So this is around nine millimeters in diameter, and this is around one to two millimeters in diameter. And this is very, very narrow gradation. A little bit wider gradation in this one, but you could definitely see the different sizes. So one to two millimeters and around nine millimeters, if my math is right. So uh, yeah, let's get to finishing up samples. So this is the pervious concrete that we created with a 3 8 inch river rock. And most of the aggregate to a certain degree fall under a 3 8 inch maximum size and you can see there's a minimum amount of paste to cover the aggregate but just gosh, a little bit too much so this is the second type that we created more of a pervious grout where we're using this one to two millimeter sized aggregate and what we did is we crushed it we cleaned it and we sieved it i believe over number 16 and number 20 and used that little amount of paste to bring that aggregate together and as you can tell this is more of that pervious style material not really concrete but grout just because of the aggregate size good afternoon ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for joining us today i had a great time redoing this pervious concrete uh, mix design and we went from a pervious mix which wasn't really that pervious had a lot of paste to it and we upped the ante a little bit by creating a pervious grout if you will where we only used one to two millimeter aggregate and we'll be showing you close-ups of this but this is what I like to call a true pervious and we'll do some videos of water going through it but barely enough paste to hold it together there's a lot of uh, aggregate touching but you still have that pathway for water to get through so we're going to show you all those materials let us know if you got any questions or comments thanks for liking and subscribing and thanks for joining us today we're always trying to make concrete one of the funnest materials in the world i mean it's easy because it already is have an awesome day go concrete beat asphalt